Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to create a project similar to this. You'll be choosing a word and then putting a different photo inside each letter. Let's get started. First, go to File, New, or click Create New. Choose Photo, and the first option is 7x5. Over here, I'm going to title this and double check that the orientation is set to horizontal. Make sure that there is no check mark in artboards and then go ahead and click the create button. I will select the text tool. Right now the color is black but it doesn't really matter because the color is going to be covered up. And I've chosen a really wide font. Um, it's called Berlin Sand but you might not have this on your computer. So just go through the different fonts and choose one that's, that's really thick so that the images will uh, show up. And we'll start off with a really, uh, the biggest size that it will go and that is 72. Next, I'm going to click on my document and write my word. I'm gonna write it in all caps. And I will click the check mark up here. I'm going to select the move tool and then click on my text and move it to the center of my work area. Next, I'm gonna to go to edit, free transform and make this really large so that it fills most of the area and then click the check mark. Now what I'm going to do is convert this from a text object into a shape object. So to do that, go to type and convert to shape. So if we look over here in the layers panel, you can see that it has this little symbol down here at the bottom of the layer that is showing that it has been converted to a shape. So this word is uh, six letters long so I now need to make six copies of this. So I'm going to use control or command J. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So depending on how long your word is that's how many copies you need. Now what I need to do I'm going to turn off the visibility icon, which is the eyeball. Now I need to delete some letters. So I'm clicking my first layer and all I need is the C. So I'm going to get this arrow right here, which is called the path selection tool. And I'm going to draw a box that just touches these five letters and hit delete on the keyboard. Now, on my next one, I need to just keep the O. So I'll draw a box around these. Whoops, so I'm not on the layer. So let me click the layer. So draw a box around those four, delete it. And then I don't need that C because I have the one under it. Now I have to turn on the next one. I have to get rid of the GIS. So let me click the layer. And I also need to get rid of the C and the O. Now, next one, I need to get rid of the IS. Whoopsies, I'm not on the layer. And the COR. Now, turn on the next one. I need to get rid of the S. Whoops, keep forgetting to click it. S and the C-O-R-G. And the last layer, I only need the S, so I'll delete, oopsies, wrong layer. I'll delete all of these. Okay, so if I uh, look over here in my panel, I can see I have C-O-R-G-I-S all on separate layers. All right, now let's get some photos in there. So I'm clicking on my C 
I'll go to File, and this time I'm going to choose Place Embedded. And I have to figure out which corgi I think will look good in that letter. And I think maybe this corgi will look good, corgi number one. So place. And I'm going to make some, make this about approximately the size I think it should be. And then click the check mark. Now over here in the layers panel, I'm going to click on this side menu and choose Create Clipping Mask, but you'll also notice that the keyboard shortcut is Alt or Option Control G. So in the future, I'm going to use that Alt Control G. Okay, well that looks pretty good. So I'll get the Move tool and make some adjustments until the corgi is the right size for the letter. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, I'll, I'll do another one. So I'm going to click on the O, go to File, Place Embedded, and in this one, hmm, maybe I will try this guy right here and place. Looks like he might be around the right size already. Check mark. Okay, this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Alt G on a PC. And that worked. So now I'll move this around until it's in just the right position and move on to the next letter. So I'm going to pause and do that and then I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, now that I have a picture placed in every letter, let's add the finishing touches. I'm going to crop it. So select the crop tool and I'll bring these in so I don't have so much blank area. And Control or Command Zero to make that fit the screen. Now I want the background to be a color. Now you could make it a solid color or a gradient. I'm going to choose a gradient. So here, and I clicked the background layer. Here is the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button. And here's solid color and here's gradient. I'll choose gradient and open my color chooser there. This time maybe I'll try some, some greens. Hmm, kind of like, yeah, that one. And click OK. All right, now I want to put a drop shadow and a stroke around my letters. So to make that easy, what I'm going to do is click my first corgi letter here, the C, and hold down shift on the keyboard and click my top layer way up here so that that all of my letters and all of my photos are all selected. Then I'm going to right click and choose where is create, oh here we go, group from layers and group one, okay. So that put them all into a folder by themselves. So now what that means is when I go to the FX button down here at the bottom, it will add whatever I choose, let's choose a stroke first, to all of the letters. So instead of having to do it one at a time, because I'm doing it to the group, it makes it a lot easier. So let's see, what will show up? How about, oh, how about orange? Yeah, orange shows up, looks pretty good. And I'll click OK on that. And now I'm also going to put a drop shadow so I can, I'm going to click on the word drop shadow to make sure I get the options over here. And then I can just click it and drag it until it's approximately where I want it. I'll make the size, adjust the size, adjust the distance a little bit, and then click OK. So that is my finished project.
So go ahead and save your projects when you're done and turn them in. That's it for this video. Have fun, everybody.